Now, this versatile young man turns coal into artistic gold, and he invited us to unravel the mysteries behind his Afro-mysteric style of art, plus some soul music in the mix. So baby, have no fears, yeah. It's me and you, what you gonna do? My love for art started as um, a kid. I studied law, but then I, I was still doing my art on the side. I draw imaginations from walls, from floors, and cracks in walls. And after going for several exhibitions, art exhibitions, and I would see people do stuff, and I was very depressed. I gave it a thought, and I gave it a shot. Started out, started doing exhibitions. Like, started, I started did my first exhibition in 2009. I started looking for avenues, and the response was quite, was, I was really surprised because people were like, wow, you did this, that, you know, so that's how the kick started. The style of my art is Afro Mysterics, which simply means the mystery of the African thought pattern. You see the patterns, and then you see the themes, and then you see, always see a story behind every piece you find. If you find an Afro Mysteric head, you find stories around it. And a lot goes into just one piece. I research most times before I actually gather, because most of my art have philosophy in them and themes, so that's what makes it special. And also, I use charcoal, I use acrylic, and I use ink. Because most of my works are tip based, I draw from base to finish. It's actually a very painstaking process, but something I enjoy doing. Music is, is like air to me because there's no, no, no day I don't play music, like it's my life. So I love to create music. I'm working on an album and it has a fusion of my art, works, and my music. This was inspired by Asha's music. Her music has served as like a source of inspiration to me, so I listened to her music and I came up with this. And what came into my mind was that I'm trying to interpret her as a person and go deep into her style of music. And you can see there's a core of her music, which is the guitar. And you can see the guitar in here, which vibrates, resonates. And on the guitar, you have chords, which actually blends chords. And then you see everything coming together to form like bass. And Asha means hawk in English. So this is a hawk. So basically, everything combinates to the Asha style of music, African style of music. She's true to her roots. And I love to represent people like this. That's why this is here. And it's actually song stress. You see, if you walk in in the marketplace, down trolls, downs. Art's about vision. You don't pay for the labor of the artist, you pay for the sight of the artist, the way the person is able to see and create. That's what you're paying for. So the value depends on the depth and the sight of the artist. I'd love to keep doing what I'm doing. I don't want to lose drive. I pay for that every day. So basically I keep working on myself, working on my art, working on my music. See, see, 